At Kansas City, we are at Central United Methodist Church on 1834 Woodland, and we have a citizen here who's concerned about the 18th and Vine development area. Why don't you introduce yourself to everyone? Hi, my name is Bill Drummond. I'm a working artist. I'm a glass artist, and I've lived in the inner city oh, for the last 25 years. I was a first mover in the crossroads, also a first mover in West Bottoms, and now I own a house at 42nd and Forest, just off Troost. So I do believe in the uh, power of creatives in the inner city, and I also believe that our, our native, our, the families, the, leg, the legacy families that have always been here should be given priority. Specifically, the grandmothers are the natural power base of any neighborhood, and we should be operating under uh, uh, an assumption of whether it's good for the grandmothers or not. My particular advocacy is for development. I am for development, but it, development must come with a contract, not just for the benefit of the developer, but for the development of the community. So the way that's done, and this has been well thought out, it's a national, it's a national movement now. Uh, all major cities are now uh, using this technique. You create an agreement between the community, the developer, and all other entities in the neighborhood. That could be churches, social service agencies, other developers, uh, government. In other words, you get all parties to the table and you make one common agreement about what will happen, what is to be expected, what are the promises. And those promises must be honored. If they are not honored, then there are consequences. So this is a, basically a contract with the community. It's enforceable, it has clawbacks, and it is also legal. What that is called is a community benefit agreement. It was first authored out of Tulane University from New Orleans, and there is a lot of um, written material on this. So I invite everybody to just uh, search out what are community benefit agreements. We've even had them here in Kansas City. The last example of a successful community benefit agreement has been the Kit Bond Bridge uh, over the Missouri River. That actually involved agreements which were kept. And uh, I gotta say that that's the turning point. That's how we could get a handle on the unwanted forces of gentrification as well as bringing development that is wanted and needed in our na neighborhoods. And that's my wrap. Mm -hmm. Thank you, it was very educational. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Mr. Drummond. Thank you for doing that. Oh, no problem. I'm Serenity Mice, but your piece, make sure you check out whatsupkinsity.net.